off track. Right? No, I'm going to have my sideways on this one. No. I'm going to get up next. Alright. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> Obviously, full house, that means the temperature is going to keep going up regardless of what the thermostat says. Don't make me be the kindergarten teacher, y'all. Thank you. <laughs> Because of me, we have a sign. So I will keep your <laughs> All right. If this is your first time in hot yoga, if you need water, you stop. You get a drink. You come back. If you need a break, take it. Child's pose, shavasana, whatever you need. Do the best you can. Modify what you need to. Just have fun with it. That's about all the PSAs I have today. The good news is we're going to start in child's pose. So go ahead and make play there. Big toes together, knees as far apart. It feels good for you to begin. Begin to find the breath. <coughs> Letting everything to begin to lengthen and deepen. One more full breath. Stay in your child's pose. Begin to walk your hands over to the right. Stacking the palms, pressing back through the hip, beginning to open into the side of the body. Next breath, begin to walk through center and all the way over to the other side. right like this. Otherwise, begin to extend the left leg back behind you, flexing through the foot, pressing through the heel. Core strong. Breath still flowing. Together, take a breath in. As you exhale, elbow and knee crunch underneath. Extend on the in. Crunch on the out. One more time. Lengthen. And squeeze. Extend back out, pause. Release the table. Other side, left arm forward. Find that stability, and as you're ready, extend the leg. Breath is flowing in and out through the nose. Inhale together. Exhale, crunch. Extend, squeeze, last one, lengthen, crunch it in, extend out, pause, release the table, spread the fingers, tuck the toes, take your breath in, down dog on the exhale, press those hips up and back, now as always, first down dog, any movement you need, if you pedal those feet, let the hips sway, maybe shake the head. And just let go of any tension you brought in. You need to find your way still. Strong in the upper body. Take an inhale, flow forward to your plank, top of the push-up. The first time in plank, we pause. Long line, crown of the head to the heels. Think of a broomstick. It would touch all the way down. At any point we land in this position, you start to feel your hips drop. Lower your knees. 
Make that upper body and core need to work. Take one more breath. Knees or toes lower all the way to the belly. Release the tops of the feet. Inhale, baby cobra, just a little lift. Release. Inhale, lift again, maybe a little higher. And release. Last one, lift on the inhale. And release. Tuck the toes, take a breath in. On the exhale, press to plank or table, your choice. Hold for an in. Back to down dog on the end. Take a full breath in. On the exhale, walk forward to your hands, find rag dog. Fingers resting on the earth or grabbing opposite elbows. Hinge from the hip and let yourself just melt towards the ground. If you like that movement here, it's a very soft sway or gentle bounce. You shouldn't feel like an amusement park ride. Really soft. Release the fingers. Slow roll up the spine, one vertebrae at a time. Reach for the sky when you get there. And hands to heart. Take a full breath in. And let it go. Straight into our A's today. Inhale, tall. Exhale, fold forward. Flat back lengthen. Plant the hands, step to plank round one. Hold the plank for an inhale. Lower down to belly on the exhale. Inhale, cobra. Exhale, release. Breath in at the bottom, tuck the toes. Plank or table on the out. Inhale to pause. Down dog. Holding that strong down dog on the inhale, rise onto the balls of your feet. As you exhale, press the heels down. Twice more, inhale to rise. Exhale to press. Last one, rise and stay. Little bend to the knees and the elbows, look forward. Press your hips towards your heels, breath in. Bottom of the exhale, jump or step to the front. Flat back, fold. Rise tall, be aware of your name. Hands to your heart. Inhale, tall. Fold forward. Lengthen. Plant the hands. Step back and lower or jump and land in Chaturanga. Inhale, cobra or up dog if you're ready. Hold that back bend for one more inhale. Down dog on the out. Remember, if you jump back, elbows are bent when you land. Save those joints. Inhale, flow forward to plank. Exhale, hips back, down dog, called a dancing dog. Inhale, flow forward. Exhale, press back. One more time, forward to plank. Down dog. Inhale to get ready. Bottom of the exhale, travel forward. Flat back, fold. Rise all the way up. Hands to heart. One more round. Inhale, tall. Fold forward. Lengthen. Plant the hands, take it back and down. Inhale, find your back bend. We meet in down dog. You're going to repeat the dancing dog, or if you want to play today, lift your right leg just to hip height behind you. Keep it there. On the inhale, float forward to plank. Keep the foot hovering lower to chaturanga. Uh, press back to three point plank. Press back to three legged dog. Put that foot down. Hey. Left leg. Flow forward. Lower down. Press up. I love the sound effects. Three leg dog. Release the foot down dog. Hey, at least we're in the beginning. Although you can feel free to do that three legged version of vinyasa. 
Anytime you like today. Take one more full breath in. Travel forward. Now you're warm. Flat back. Fold. Rise all the way up. Hands to heart. Inhale, reach home. Have a seat, Utkatasana, chair pose. First time we're here, take the time to build that chair. Weight in the heels, hips are going back. Launching board up that spine to those fingertips. Diane's gonna hate the fact that she's in the front row. <laughs> take one more full breath. Fold forward. Flat back. Plant the hands, take it back and down, or skip it and meet us in down dog. Back bend as you're ready, down dog. Inhale the right leg high behind you. I'm near you, don't worry about me, I will get out of your way. Let the knee bend here. So we're just opening into that hip flexor. So kind of think of yourself kicking yourself in the butt. For obvious reasons, we're not gonna follow through on this today, but I do want you to stretch that hip flexor. Inhale, straighten the leg. Exhale, step it forward, runner's lunge. Stay on the ball of the back foot. Remember, back knee can come down to modify. Next, inhale, rise all the way up, full crescent pose. Settle in. First time we go through, take those breaths. Find your alignment, find your space. Take an inhale. As you exhale, sweep the arms back, hover over that front thigh, make up that glute. Inhale, rise tall. Exhale, open to warrior two. Drop the back heel, rotate open. Still bending into that front knee, pressing firm in both feet. And then engage those shoulder blades like there's a $100 bill back there that you don't want to lose. It's the best form correction I ever came across. Everybody always goes, ding. <laughs> Beautiful. Hold those legs strong. Flip the front palm. Reverse your warrior. You choose your arms this round. Perhaps supporting on the back leg, little half bind. One more full breath. Return to warrior two. Heading to side angle base. Reaching forward, front arm to thigh, top arm to sky. Me first, y'all. Me first. We're starting in base. Press out of that shoulder. Roll that bottom rib under and forward. As long as the chest doesn't fall forward, go ahead and release the bottom hand towards the earth or a block. And then wherever you are, extended side angle, bring that top arm to the front of the room, bicep by the ear. If your chest has rolled forward, come back up. Use the core strength. Next exhale, rise all the way back to warrior two. One breath, inhale, reverse. Exhale, cartwheel all the way to the earth. Take it through that vinyasa or skip it as we move in down dog. Everybody's pausing and up dog already. Are we feeling it today? <laughs> Full breath in. Let it go. Inhale, left leg. Bend the knee, open the hip. Keeping the strength in the upper body here. Don't let the elbows collapse or the shoulders and the ears come together. They're still fighting. They don't like each other. <laughs> Inhale, straighten that leg. Exhale, bring it forward, runner's lunge. Remember, if it doesn't make it there, you can always use your hand and put it there. Next breath in, rise, full crescent. Ball of the back foot, weight in that front heel, soft toe. Inhale, exhale, sweep and hover, chest over thigh. Inhale, rise, open to two. Find that alignment, that front toe facing forward, knee following the path of the second and third toe. Flip the front palm, 
reverse. Now try to do the same arms on this side that you did on the first. Good breath, guys. In and out through the nose. Returning to warrior two, heading to side angle base. Reach it forward, front arm to thigh, back arm to sky. Press out of that bottom shoulder. Stay here or let that bottom hand come down, but only if the chest stays open. Extend that side angle bicep by the ear, reaching forward. One more breath. Core strength brings you back up to warrior two. One inhale, full reverse. Exhale, cartwheel it down, step back, lower. Up dog or cobra. Down dog. Full breath in. Let it go. One more like that. Inhale. Release. Inhale, get ready. Bottom of the exhale, bring it forward. Flat back, fold, rise all the way up. Hands to heart. Inhale, arms up, interlace the fingers, turn the palms to the sky, relax the shoulders. Strong core, find your focus point. I know we're full in here, but try not to stare at your neighbor because if they fall, you'll fall with them. On the next inhale, rise a bunch of the balls with the feet sign balance. If hands need to come to heart, always welcome to do so. On my count, you lower to toe squat. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, you got it, 4, 3, 2, your lowest point or hips just above heels. One more breath. Release the hands between the knees. Let the knees open. Crow pose, because why not? If you've got it, don't listen to me. Go up. If you're still working on it, hands to the earth like you're trying to grab that mat. Knees up on the triceps. You've got some gorgeous examples all over the room if you're still working. Squeeze it together. Shift forward. I said that and half of them got walking. <laughs> Two more breaths to play. You've got this. If you're working on your jump back, go for it. Otherwise, lower your feet and step back to plank. <laughs> I love some of you went for it anyway. You gotta try. Holding your plank. If this is challenging today, stay put. Otherwise, in that plank, hover your right foot. Pull your right knee towards your right elbow. Bring it over to your left elbow. Bring it back to your right elbow. Stretch it back. Put it down. Cover your left foot. Bring it towards your knee. Take it to the other knee. Come back over. Press it back. Put it down. Smile because it's fun. Lower all the way down. your upper body too. <laughs> All right, little locusts, just to give your legs a break before we go into the next round. Zip those legs together, extend the arms down at your sides. Belly button pulls the spine, hip points press into the earth, forehead in the center. <clears throat> On the inhale, lift up, chest and toes. Look, that's later. <laughs> <laughs> You're warming up for bow already. You're working too hard. <laughs> Two more breaths. Slowly release down. Let your cheek rest. I'm going to do it one more time. We're going to interlace the hands at the small of the back. Remember, if that bothers wrists or shoulders, just repeat version one. Zip the legs back together. Pull that core in. Inhale, lift. Pull those fingers towards the toes. Open across the collarbone. Little tuck to the chin. Keep the back of the neck nice and long. It'll feel better tomorrow. Don't stop breathing while you hold the body. Two 
two more. Release, rest the opposite cheek. Hands beneath the shoulders, forehead to the center. Take a breath in on the exhale, hips to heels, child's pose. Remember, if you need water, take it. You're all look a little steady. If you've never worked out with me much, I will try to make you laugh at me or with me so I know you're not holding your breath. Inhale, tuck the toes. Exhale, we all meet back in down dog. Inhale, right leg right up behind you. Pausing here for a moment, find that strength. Breath in. Exhale, right knee, right elbow. Press back. Right knee, left elbow. Press back. Step it all the way forward, runner's lunge. This time, release the back heel, setting your warrior feet. On the inhale, rise tall, warrior one. Remember that warrior one, that front knee is still bending 90 degrees, pressing to the back edge of that foot. You adjust the angle of that back foot so your hips square forward. It's going to be a little different for everybody, so don't worry about what your neighbor looks like ever. Worry about how it feels in your body today. Take one more breath. Release the hands behind each your legs. Inhale, open the chest. Humble warrior, hinge forward, shoulder to the inside of the knee. No, it doesn't have to get there, that's just your direction. If mobility allows, those hands can begin a journey up off your back. If your shoulders don't like that, leave them at the small of the back. We're going to play a little bit here in our humble warrior today. If your hands are really high, bring them back a little bit low. You're going to rotate the chest open. Just let that top shoulder roll back. Open the chest to the side, but stay low. Still pulling back through those fingers. Slowly rotate back down. Release the fingers. Rise up, warrior one. Shift forward halfway, shifting the weight into the front foot. We're going to take flight. I'm going to move out everybody's way. Warrior three, shift the weight to the front foot. Lift, don't kick. If you need a finger to the ground or a block, do it. Eighth of an inch or perfectly parallel, you are working this pose the same way. All right, challenge. Strengthen the core. We're going to stand up tall, bringing that back knee forward to 90 degrees or as close as you can get without your hands. You got it. Standing pigeon. Cross the ankle over the knee. Let it open. That could be good. Begin to squat down if you're feeling it. If you have the arm balance here and you want to show off, go ahead. <laughs> the arm balances his hand to the floor, that shin across the triceps, shifting the weight forward like you do in crow, and then that back leg shoots back. <laughs> You're just having your foot off the floor. It's good. <laughs> we got to give the overachievers a chance. You know I'm just jealous. <laughs> If you're in the arm balance, begin to make your way back to the squat. Take one more breath. You got this. Stand up tall. Hands at heart or hands overhead. Extend that leg forward. <laughs> one more breath. Sweep the leg back. Airplanes. Last balance on this leg, I promise. Chris, is going, I don't believe you. It's melting off, Chris. It's melting. <laughs> With grace, warrior one, release that back heel, lift the chest. Beautifully done. Is it okay? I tried to fix it so the weight was higher. I don't know if it's... <laughs> All right, it don't worry like about it. it. If it crashes, it crashes. <laughs>
No, good. Oh. Good enough. Well, if you look in there. It's... Take one more breath. Oh, can you see? Can you see? Vinyasa. Oh, yes. Dance to the mat. Take it back oh, down. Okay. Yeah. That's Preferably something that's not moving. Here it comes. Start to stand up, lifting that back knee up 90 degrees or as close as you can get without your hands. Standing pigeon, ankle crosses over knee, let the knee open. Choose your variation, staying tall. Squatting down, taking the arm balance. You've got it. Don't stop breathing. Hold here for one more breath. With control, begin to stand tall, arms up, extend the leg forward. Final balance on this side. Sweep it back, find that airplane. Hands can be at the heart or extending back. You've got it. One more breath. With control, begin to bend into the supporting knee. Lower the back heel. Rise tall. Warrior one. Nice work. Take a full breath in. Maybe arch back. On the exhale, vinyasa. Take the hands to the mat. Back and down. Or skip it. And we all meet in down dog. Taking a full breath in. Sigh it out. Again, inhale. Sigh it out. Together, take a breath in. On the exhale, release both knees down to the mat to table pose. Making sure the wrists are beneath the shoulders and knees beneath the hips, core strong. We'll come back into bird dog like we did in the beginning. Inhale the right arm forward, bicep by the ear, thumb to the sky. Begin to extend the left leg back. Really find the length. Begin to bend the back knee. You can always stay right here. Or if you like, begin to reach back, see if that foot's there to find today, coming into upward bow. Rolling the shoulder back, pressing the foot into the palm. Really find the arch in the spine. One more breath, maybe lift a little more. Gently release, extend back out. Take one more breath here. 
release the hand only to the mat. Tucking the back toes, or I should say the bottom toes, excuse me, take a full breath and then press straight back, three-legged dog. Nice, take a full breath in. Step it forward, runner's lunge. Releasing the back heel on the inhale, rise tall, warrior one. And then on the exhale, warrior two. Straight in the front. Front finding leg. runner's lunge. St From here, flip the front palm. Reverse your bend here, coming into archer. Really enjoy that side stretch. Keeping the legs strong and straight, come back to center. Triangle pose. Hinge at the hip and begin to slide down that wall. Nice hand can rest on a block, the foot, the shin. Extended triangle, take that top arm to the front of the room, bicep by the ear. And final challenge here, if you like, core supported triangle, take that bottom arm, reach it forward like you're cradling a beach ball over the head. Keeping the chest forward, the legs straight. One more breath. With strength, rise all the way up. Arms come out to a T, all toes face forward and parallel. Take an inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Option to take an inversion here if you're working on your headstand or tripod headstand. Or just stay in the fold and really enjoy the stretch. Nice. Hamstrings still tight or you're working on the flexibility. Walk those feet a little bit wider. If your hamstrings are very loose, I challenge you to bring those feet a little closer together. Inversions begin to come down. Everyone take one more breath, lengthen the spine. On the exhale, begin to walk around, runner's lunge. Get back to plank. Slowly lower down. Up dog or cobra, down dog. Nicely done. Take a full breath in and a full breath out. All right, here comes the fun part. I have to remember everything we did for the other side. Take a breath in, release the table. Coming into that bird dog, opposite side, since I know a few of you were right and left challenged on the last side. <laughs> Find that strength first. Bend the knee, reach back, see if your foot is there to find. You're good, you won't kick it. <laughs> Beautiful, find that arch if you're able. Remember, if your foot's not there to find, just bend the knee and lift the chest. Releasing your grip, lengthen out. Tuck the toe. Oh, excuse me, release your hand first, then tuck your toe. No, do it the other way. As you're ready, press back, three-legged dog. You must look comfortable. I thought you needed more of a challenge. Shoulders. <laughs> Beautiful. Full breath in. Step it forward, release the heel. Rising up, warrior one. Open, warrior two. Straight in the front leg. It's a sentence everybody wants to hear. Flip the palm, reverse. Enjoy that little stretch all the way up the side. Keeping the legs straight, come back to center. 
triangle pose, lengthen and slide. Remember in that triangle pose, even pressure in both feet. Long legs. Extended triangle, top arm to the front of the room, bicep by the ear. Remember, these are all add-ons. You can stay in base if you feel best today. And then lastly, core supported, bring that bottom arm forward like you're cradling a beach ball over your head. Chest stays forward, legs stay strong. Smile, because it's almost done. Rise all the way up. Turn all 10 toes forward and parallel. Little standing camel on this side. Release the hands to the small of the back. Fingers can face up or down, whatever feels better for you. Roll the shoulders back, pull the elbows in, tuck the chin, and begin to roll back. So remember, we're not trying to shoot the knees and the pelvis forward. We want that arch to come from the upper and middle spine. Okay, Wes. <laughs> One more breath, rise gently, inhale, arms up, exhale, fold forward, and this time everyone enjoy your fold. You can always reach out, grab the sides of the feet or the ankles, uber bendies, you can take your hands behind you between your legs and place your palms flat. If your hamstrings are super flexible, I actually challenge you to bring your legs closer together. If you're the other end of the spectrum and you've got tight hamstrings, open them a little wider, but don't go so wide that you're worried about a split. Inhale, flat back. Walk yourself around to the front of the mat, refine runner's lunge. Step back to plank, hold. Last plank challenge. Remember, if just holding the plank is a challenge at this stage, stay put. From here, hover your right foot. Bring your right knee to your right elbow. Drop it to your right wrist. Take it over to your left wrist. Lift it to your left elbow. Bring it back to your right elbow. Press it back. Put it down. Lift your left. <laughs> knee, to, yeah, knee to elbow. Drop it to the wrist. Take it to the other wrist. Bring it up to the elbow. Press it back. Put it down. Hold that plank for one more breath. Knees or toes with control, lower all the way down. Nice work. All right, heading into bow. Remember, if bow is not in your practice, don't worry about it. Either stick with cobra or take the locust of your choice from the earlier round. Bring the hands beneath the shoulders, legs together, release the tops of the feet. Keeping that core nice and strong on the inhale, lift the chest, bend the right heel towards the bum, and release. Inhale, lift, bend the left, and release. Inhale, lift the chest, bend both feet in. You can stay right here or begin to reach back with both hands. See if the feet are there to catch. Grabbing a hold of the feet or the ankles, roll the shoulders back, open the chest, and then begin to press the feet into the palm. See if you can find the arch. Keep breathing. Maybe even smile. Take one more full breath. Softly release down. Keep the knees bent and just let the windshield wiper softly side to side a few times. Lengthen the legs out. Bring the hands back beneath the shoulders if you've moved them. Take one more breath here. Press yourself back, child's pose. Taking a moment just to let that back settle before moving on. On the next inhale, tuck the toes. 
And on that exhale, press back up, down dog. There's only two more down dogs left in this practice. On the inhale, right leg rises behind you. Pigeon pose on the exhale, bring that knee forward towards the wrist, settling into your pigeon pose. Begin to lift the chest. Tuck the back toe, lift the back knee, press back to the final down dog plus. Any movements you need here before we take the other side, feel free. On the next breath, left leg rises. Pigeon pose. Sink in. And up. Next breath, begin to roll up the spine, sit tall. Keep the legs long, point the toes. We're going to borrow our roll down to get down. Arms extend in front. Pull the belly in and up. And then give a corset. Close your rib cage in. Let your chin fall. And then like someone just poked you in the belly button, curl it. Hold that curl with as much control as you have. Begin to roll all the way down. At any time, fingers can come to the earth to help. If feet pop up, you don't have <coughs> Beautiful. Still rolling, keep rolling. I know some of you Pilates people take it as a chance. Once you've arrived, bend the knees, place the feet on the earth. Two bridges today. First one, since we're only doing two, if you would like to do wheel instead, that is your option. Remember, hip feet are hip distance apart. And as I always say, your hips are never the width of your mat, no matter how bad your day is. So step those feet in a little bit. Beautiful. Arms long at the side for bridge, hands by the shoulders, fingers facing in for wheel. Next breath, hips begin to lift, bridge your wheel. 
If you choose wheel, you are your own counter. Remember to tuck your chin before you lower so you don't smack the top of your head. Press into those feet. Engage the glutes. Soften the upper body. Unless you're in me. Take one more full breath. Very slowly begin to roll down the spine. Coming to rest. Making your choice, setting up for bridge your wheel number two. Taking the breath, begin to lift the hips, firmly pressing into the feet, squeezing the glutes, softening the upper body. Here for five, four, three, two. Very slowly, like you're moving through molasses, begin to roll down the spine. Hips are the last thing to touch. When you arrive, step the feet a little wider than the hips and take some windshield wipers here, just letting the knees softly fall from side to side. The next time the knees fall to the left, allow them to stay. Coming into a variation on spinal twist, opening the arms to a T or a cactus. You can stay here with the knees and the feet wide, or if you like, come into a figure four variation, placing the bottom foot on the top knee. As always, the gaze is resting wherever is most comfortable for the neck. Feeling that breath continue to flow slowly in and even slower out. One more full breath. Releasing the foot, bring the knees softly back through center and all the way over to the other side. Making your adjustments and choosing your variation for this side, spinal twist. Last breath here. Unwind, making your way back into center. Begin to bring the knees up into the chest, give them a little squeeze, maybe a rock side to side or back in front. We're coming to happy baby, reaching between the legs, grabbing the big toes, the outsides of the feet, or if the legs are tight, perhaps the back of the thighs. Bending the knees to 90, soles of the feet to the ceiling, open those knees to the outsides of the body. Gentle pressure. Now think of that tailbone as being heavy. Try to let go, let it soften into your mat. If you are a person who likes to add the movement here, you can begin to rock very gently side to side. Try not to go too fast. We want this to be nice and relaxing. Settling back into center. If hamstrings are tight and you have your feet, slide your hands back to the backs of your calves. And on the next exhale, straighten the legs into a reclined straddle, flexing the feet, pressing through the heels. With or without the help of your hands, bring those legs together straight above. Point the toes. On the exhale, flex the feet, pull those toes towards your knees. One more time, exaggerate the point and exaggerate the flex. Softening into the center, feel free to just stay here in a center of the room version of legs up the wall. Or if shoulder stand is in your practice, give yourself a little rock, supporting the hips with the hands, lengthening the legs to the sky. 
If you do come up into shoulder stand, remember very little movement in the head and neck. We want to keep the neck happy. If you are in shoulder stand, begin to lower the feet over the head into plow pose. If your toes touch the ground and you feel confident, you can release your hands if you like. If you're dangling or there's any tension, just keep supporting. Begin to bend the knees to either side of the head and with the strength of the core and the help of the arms, begin to slowly roll yourself out and down. If you are in that legs up the wall variation, just begin to bend the knees into the chest. Maybe give them a little hug. Once you finish rolling out, once again, bring those knees into the chest. We meet here together. A last little squeeze, full breath in. Shavasana on your exhale. Stretch their body out into your favorite position. Coming into a full and final rest. What is the soul of yoga? Follow your heart into the center of the pose and find in the midst of detail and precision, in breath, alignment, balance, bliss, fear, and sadness. At the very core of all of this is love. Touch upon your truest nature even once and the experience of what you really are sears the psyche like the surface of the sun. The soul of yoga, the gift within the pose is moment of communion. Resting in pure essence, the awakening as if from sleep to face of unmistakable divinity. The wonder and living reality of spirit. Oh, yes, the soul of yoga is love. Allow your next breath to deepen. Bringing a little movement back with fingers and toes. Extend the arms overhead for a final full stretch. Gently rolling to your side, begin to make your way up to your easy seat. With hands resting on the knees or at the heart. Together, take a full, deep inhale. Release. Little bit deeper. Release. Take your deepest breath, completely fill and pause. And let it all go. Thank you so much for sharing practice with me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. And until next time, namaste.